Paperless Movement, your productivity, your way. Hey there, and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. You know, I'm a big fan of Apple Notes for quick note-taking, capturing meeting insights, and even building a single source of truth. Today, I reveal some hidden superpowers of Apple Notes that you might not know. Watch until the end of this video to find out how you can unlock the full potential of Apple Notes and learn how you can integrate it into your productivity system and business workflows. Now let's dive in. First off, those who follow us on this channel already know one of my favorite features is that I can switch off the screen. I just tap on the screen, it will open my note and I can start writing. Maybe you know this, but maybe you don't know that if you go to the settings and you go to notes and you scroll all the way down, it says lock screen and control center, access notes from lock screen, it is switched on. When you click here, you have additional options. And here you can say resume last note or always create a new note. And the beauty about this is when you say create new note after today, this means Whenever I tap on this, you see it's the last note that I took, but it will stay there only for today. Tomorrow it will create a new note. So this way I have automatic daily notes that I can take. And that's the beauty of having this quick access as well. Another way to create notes is by sharing notes. So if we open Safari and we want to share a page, we can just hold and then we can say share and go to notes. And then it will ask if you should create a new note or you pick an existing note and you can append this. You can even add some text here and then we say save. And that's another thing that when we open up notes now, you see it's instantly there. It gives you even a card view. You can click on this and it will open up the website or you press and hold. Then you can say small images and it makes it a smaller bookmark as well. If you're on a website and you swipe in from the bottom right, you will open up a quick note. But if you're in Safari and you select some text here, or you swipe in here, I can hold and then drop it in here. Quick notes also works great if you have this open. Make a new quick note. I can just hold an image. I can just drag it in here and it will add this image into the quick note. And then if you tap on top here, it will just open up all the quick notes that you have here. You see the quick notes are available inside notes. You can just drag and drop it into the other notes folder whenever you want to convert this into a normal note. You can also use Siri to create new notes. Siri, erstelle eine neue Notiz. Deutsche Notiz. So you see, Siri is set up in German and on my device. So I made a German note, but it also works obviously in so many other languages where Siri supported. And now you see, I made Deutsche Notiz, which means German note. <laughs> and now I can start writing or I could have said more. While you're driving with your car, it's easy to create new notes this way. Another way to quick access notes is you go to the icon, you press and hold and you get this menu there and the new note, new checklist, new photo and scan document. Or you bring down the control center and you see here there's at create new notes. That's the icon for that. If I press and hold this, it gives me also again these options there. If this is not showing up, you can set this up in the settings to add this to your control center. The same applies to your mobile phone for the control center. So you can add this here as well. You see here, press and hold. I have the same option there as well. When it comes to formatting, we can create a checklist. Now you see we have these. I can check them off and they will move downwards, the things that are finished already. If you don't want them to move down, you can go to the options here as well. And then you see sort ticked items automatically or you go to manually. And what this means now when I tick them off, they stay where they are. When we come to organizing and folders later on, I will talk about smart folders and there's a very powerful feature that I will show you how you find all the notes with the open tasks. So stay tuned until the end of the video. Another thing is that you can just three finger tap and then you get additional options like paste, copy or undo, redo, or you swipe with them for redo and undo. So these gestures are also working on your iPhone. Another formatting option is creating tables. So you see when I tap in here, I can create here table. You can write in there, we can select this. And when you tap the three dots here, you can actually change the whole line or the whole column. You can add a column or you can add a row. So you can select the table, go to tables, convert to text, and it will convert the whole table just to text. So if you share websites and YouTube videos with Apple Notes, so I go to share, 
I go to more, I say Apple Notes, and here we go, create a new node, and we go back, it created a new node, it took the title of the video, and it embeds the video, so I can click here, and the video is actually playing inside Apple Notes, which is great. I can go full screen, or I press and hold, and then I can go for small images, and therefore I have just a bookmark card here as well. So are you excited about what you just saw? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're ready to master Apple Notes and elevate your skills, join us in the Paperless Movement membership. Here you'll find my extensive Apple Notes deep dive, where I show you in over one hour how to get the most out of this app. Plus, you gain access to many other deep dives and our iCore courses designed to help you tackle scattered information and boost your productivity as a business professional. If you join us today, I'm thrilled to personally welcome you to our community, where our co-founder Paco Cantero, myself and hundreds of like-minded members are here to help you build your productivity system your way. For more details, check out the description below this video. If you found this information useful, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our next video. See you next time.